so we've been talking a lot about PWAs and uh, service workers. So I wanted to illustrate how it actually works. Um, this is an app that is actually a PWA and uh, it uses several caching strategies um, utilizing Workbox to uh, create a service worker that handles, you know, serving content um, on behalf of the, the, the application. So um, to illustrate how this works, the first thing I'll do is a hard reload so that the service worker gets blown away. So when I do a hard reload, all of my assets that were generated for this application are loaded from the internet. Uh, pictures, JavaScript, uh, HTML is all, you know, you have to wait until you get the response from the server before you can display it. Um, so the service worker, once it's in place, it will actually cache all of these things and respond with them immediately on future requests uh, so that the page loads instantly. Now, on a uh, mobile device like an Android, with a progressive web app, it will actually prompt the user to install the app on their home screen. And so what happens is you can imagine the person clicks on the icon for the app. The Android device opens like a standalone browser window that's the full size of the device that loads your content. And so it looks like and, and works like a native application. And because of the service worker, it displays it instantly without waiting on the network so that it responds as if it were a native application. Um, so if I reload now, you can see the difference. So once the service worker was installed and I reloaded, uh, or you can imagine like a user opened the app on their phone, this is what happened in the background. My assets that go into building this web page were loaded instantly from the service worker. <clears throat> now it also went and fetched, uh, you know, uh, tried to see on the network if there was a new version, but the initial drawing was done from the uh, locally cached content. Um, now you can also see that this is true for, uh, for images and um, different things like that. Now there's, there's also API requests that have different caching strategies. So this API endpoint, for example, has a network first strategy. And that means that it's gonna go out to the network and you can see that here. Now, uh, if I was offline, it would have fallen back to a cached version of the response. But since I'm online, it worked. So if I go to uh, recent things, <clears throat> I've actually got this on a cache first strategy. And that means um, the application will actually serve the cached version from the service worker as the default. And then it will go and it will fetch the updated version from the server. So you can see here, you've got an instant response from the service worker. And then in the background, I'm going and getting uh, a new updated version if, if it exists. Um, and then I'm also, you know, caching my, uh, my thumbnails here as well with the service worker. So if I go back to the homepage and uh, if I check out the YouTube video, where is that right there? You can see that that is not being served from the service worker. Um, first of all, I don't even know if that'll work. Second of all, if it did, it would take up a lot of space on the user's mobile device. So I don't want to do that. So if I go offline, this app will still work just like a regular app except for the YouTube video, because I didn't define a strategy for that, so it does not uh, appear. But everything else that is that goes into building the app is actually still present, so it's uh, it's still working just fine. And if I go over to you know recent things, uh, I still have my thumbnails and I still have my recent things, and even though I'm offline, my app still has a pretty good look and feel to it, and it, it seems like most of the functionality is there. So if you go here, this is where I went to recent things. And you can see that my cached version uh, was served instantly. And I went out to the network to see if there was an updated version, but there was no response because I'm offline. And so um, to the user, everything's working like a native application, 
But in the background, you can see that I'm still making requests out to the internet. Um, they're just not working because we're offline. So that's basically how the service worker interacts to help your page load times and also to make your app work as if it were a native application. So let me go back online there and then I want to show you real quick the configuration. I use Webpack to build this app. Uh, this could also be used with Gulp and you can also configure this manually. Uh, you can build a JavaScript um, service worker using the Workbox library or, or others um, with just regular JavaScript. So you don't have to use these other things. But, but a nice thing about uh, Webpack is that it, you know, goes through and generates all these assets and then it puts them all into a distribution directory and I can then tell my workbox plugin to go and, and grab every asset in that directory and pre-cache it. So this is our, our pre-caching strategy. In other words, every time the app is loaded, these things must be served uh, you know, instantly from the cache. And then I've also got some other stuff. So um, <clears throat> some of these other routes are uh, cached dynamically and this configuration has changed now it's called routing in web in workbox but um you know it's the same principle so you you specify different routes and you specify the caching strategy and so um if you look at uh let's see like for example you know imager files are are cached first so i'm not hitting imager all the time um and so that well, the images will still appear even if i'm offline and um I've got some API stuff here. So, uh, you know, API requests other than search or recent um, are defined here. And so you can see, uh, basically, you, you give it a re regular expression and then a strategy. And then, you know, regular expression and then a strategy. And so that's 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 basically how you would configure your compiler uh, to use Workbox to generate a service worker um, for the application.